Hello everybody, I hope you're all good. Welcome to Pattaya, or Pattaya. Oh, that's quite controversial. I got here a few days ago now. This is the first time I've been to Pattaya in about five years, and that was only a weekend. So I've only ever been here for two days before. I'm not a Pattaya expert or anything like that. So everything you're gonna see is really for the first time I'm seeing it as well. Now, I'm seeing a really nice condo Great for a really nice price. Um, so I've just spent a couple of days just having a look around and getting organized, but now I'm ready to make a few videos. So I am just walking down to the beach, beach road, and I'll spin the camera around and we'll have a walk around for a little bit and see what's going on. Here we go. Now, what I have noticed everyone is that it really is quite busy here. Um, I've heard a lot of people moaning a little bit online and stuff like that, saying it's dead and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't look dead to me. I went out last night for a couple of nights. Fantastic. Really, really good. Lots of people around. Lots going on. I'm just at the beach here and the beach looks pretty decent as well. It looks a lot better now than uh, it did a few years ago when I was last here. Look at that. They're obviously paying quite a lot of attention to it. And just on my right here, some ladies getting all the stalls and all the restaurants and everything set up for the day. It's hot though. Whew, it really is hot. Um, I mean, it's really warm and muggy now, but yesterday about from about 10 a.m. right through to about 7 at night. My God, absolutely sweltering. Absolutely red hot, but I guess that's a good thing. Okay. And this place is obviously famous for being an adult playground and all that sort of stuff, but I've not come here for that. Um, I've just come here to relax through it because I've obviously I've been traveling around for the last few probably like six weeks or something like that and every, with the exception of um, Kopanyang every four days or so I've been moving along and I've oh, I just needed a bit of stability for a week so I've, as I say I've got a really nice condo what I will do a video on a really really good price as well and I'm just organizing my stuff. I've got brought far too much stuff with me. So I've got some of that stuff into storage. So I'm traveling quite light now. And really just getting organized and stuff like that. Now this place here, Mike's shopping mall. Obviously a shopping mall and just at the top is a nice gym. I actually had a look at that the other day, um, just out of interest. And that's nice, Coco Fitness. And there's a lot of people just wandering around, um, a lot of people exercising. I mean, now it's only, it's 6.45 now, and there's a lot of activity on here. I guess most people are coming around just um, exercising before it gets to hot. I'm quite lucky that I've got a um, nice gym where I'm staying, and that's aircon and everything, so I've been using that place. But there's a couple of pools and all that sort of stuff. It's really good. I'm going to do a video on it because I think it's absolutely brilliant. And there you go. Look at this for a view. Just be careful because there's a lady down on a look a little bit there on the beach. The famous Pattaya City sign. Now, one thing that I did find out that's caught me off guard a little bit is that at the moment in here, if you want to go into a restaurant or a restaurant that's, it's sort of a bar, but it's changed into a restaurant so it can open, you actually have to do a COVID test before you go in um, or have the results of a COVID test before you go in, which took me uh, off guard a little bit. But it is what it is, and uh, what I did is I bought one from 
uh, 7-Eleven, only like 50 baht. I did that and they said just carry that around and as long as you've got one done every three days, you'll be fine. So that's what that one is. And I said I was sitting there, I'm always up really early in the morning so I don't go out till late at night or anything like that. And there was so I'm not gonna name any name well name any names, but there was two guys moaning like hell about Patty saying, Oh, it's completely dead and there's no one here. Well I've been travelling around Thailand for the last six weeks, so I've got a pretty decent idea of what's busy and what's not. And this is busy. Um so the area I stayed with in Bangkok, that was dead of tourists and that was one of the main tourist hubs. Also, obviously the islands, Samui, um, Samui was completely dead, Koh Tao, reasonable. Koh Yang, probably about the busiest place I have been so far. But I'm really happy here. I'm really quite impressed. Now, I am by no means an expert. This, you know, Pattaya seems to be the vlogging capital of Thailand. And I watch a few of the videos. Um, I'm subscribed to a couple of the people. And they do really good blogs. So if you've come here for an expert opinion on Pattaya and where to go and all that sort of stuff, probably not the uh, the one for you because I'm sort of traveling and this one is soy 13 13 slash 2 that was a nice one and I will have another walk around and a couple of other different places now this place I've seen this on the internet and I was thinking of actually checking in here for one night and just doing a little video because I've never it's never stayed anywhere like this before. This place is called Nonzi or Nons, and it's like a capsule hotel slash hostel type thing. Maybe it's closed anyway, but I'll show you the sign. But this is dirt cheap online, and you get like a capsule pod. Here you go, if you can see on there, or check it out online anyway. And I'm looking at this, and this is like 250 baht for the night. But I don't know if this is like British home, because it's got the classic old telephone box I'm not sure what that's supposed to be Roll, Ro Rolls Royce truck or something like that and loads of other stuff but it's quite good there you go we'll get one for let's get a thumbnail with that one in guys <laughs> there you go enough of that so Let's get back across the road. I don't want to walk on that side because there's quite a few um, ladies and there's a couple of people who are sleeping outside and things like that. So I want to be a bit respectful for them. Now this place on the left, Wine Connection, this is a chain. They've got these all over Thailand and they do, and it's predominantly aimed mainly at Westerners, but they've got really, really big menu. Um, and food's quite reasonably priced, like 300, 400 baht for a meal. And I've been in there in a lot of places, in particular Phuket before. So that's definitely worth checking out. And they've got seats outside or inside and all that sort of stuff. So that's a good one. And there's all your normal chain stuff. You've got Burger King, but that looks closed. Taco Bell seems to be everywhere at the moment in Thailand. Now I've never actually been in, but I looked at the sort of prices online on the Grab apps and everything like that. Really, really cheap, really good. And also what I have been using to get around um, is an app. Normally I'd use like in Bangkok and places I used Grab app, which is everyone, I'm sure everyone knows about that. But I've been using Bolt, B-O-L-T and oh my god it is so so cheap um like because i'm on my own i'm just taking motorbikes and things it's like 20 25 baht whereas 
I mean, it's still cheap if you speak to the lads, um, the actual official motorbike taxi guys. Um, but you'd be, you're going to pay twice that, and if you're using two or three a day, it all adds up. And you just put your location in, they come to you, pick you up, and take you around. So, if you are coming here or in other places in Thailand, you might want to check that bolt up out. That Pattaya City Walk there. And at the end of this bit is the famous walking street. I think it's about five minutes down here, but I did go down there last night for a look around. There's a load of blokes down there, just looks like they're up for an early morning trip somewhere. But I'm very impressed. Let's go and have a look on this beach. I'm very impressed with the condition of this beach. There's absolutely no rubbish anywhere. I mean, there's a gentleman there sweeping it up and all that sort of stuff. Ocean is still. And it's going to be a really, really nice day here. Look at that. Fantastic. Walk down the beach a little bit. Now, well, by the time you're watching this video, I'll just about be setting off. Um, but after I've finished, finished my week here, I am going to go to Krabi in the south. And I'm going to go a few places down there. I'm going to go to a few of the islands. Um, after I've finished in Krabi, I'm thinking about going to Phuket. But I just need, want to see what the situation with, with you know what because they're doing the sandbox down there at the moment and apparently they've got quite a lot of you know what infections and all that sort of stuff so we just take one week at a time as it comes I'm, uh, I've got all the time in the world now that place just on the end of the pier there is called Pattaya Beer Garden and I can remember that from uh, five years ago or so but I think it's closed I did have a walk down um, well it is closed or it was closed uh, last night when I came but I know I keep going on about it this beach is fantastic for a city yeah it's absolutely brilliant and on this part there's a lot of stray dogs like this fella this, that lad's got a collar on so I assume he's someone's pet But yeah, if you are coming here, guys, there's plenty open. There's lots to do. There's some really, you know, accommodations great. There's some really good value places to stay. Um, food's cheap. There's all sorts of stuff available, depending on what you fancy. I mean, Pattaya's... I think it's had a bit of an unfair reputation for some things um, in the past. There's obviously all the... Um, what do you call it? all the adult entertainment and all that sort of stuff going on but you don't have to partake in all that there's plenty of other stuff to do oh good morning boss how are you and well, this gentleman here so you cap how are you man all good have a good day yeah So that gentleman was happy to see me and a lady not so happy to see me but he's just told her in Thai um, that he spoke to me she thought it was after her, but whatever here we are we can have a little look here now there you go yeah that was called Bataya beer garden But looking fantastically clean. I say lots of people out just exercising and 
having a walk around. A few pigeons at this bit. This must be pigeon pigeon area. There's a little bit of a pier here. We'll take a walk down this bit. Take a look. Gentleman just playing a guitar. Just looks like he's got his music out. He's just doing a bit of a practice. I think the gentleman doing a bit of fishing down there, we won't disturb him. Construction, all that sort of stuff going on. And I think this is about where I'm going to wrap it up. So this is Walking Street. Welcome to Patia. Sign up there. Here you go. Because I've been babbling on for about 15 minutes and much longer. I'm going to have to get this one in the cinema. Which reminds me, I've not been to cinema in Thailand yet this time, so... Look at that, there you go. Sea residence, room for rent, sea view. You can give her a call. I don't know how quiet it is on this part. Whew, sweating a bit. Here, oh folks, walking street. I will have a walk down there, sort of early one evening a bit. And that is where we have just walked all the way from down there. Just from, if you can see Hilton in the background, that's about where I came down. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, tune in again, there'll be another four or five videos all about Patia, and I'll also do one on the accommodation where I'm staying. Thanks a lot. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't, Please think about it, it really helps me and the channel to grow. See you later.